In this video we will see about the state of charge, that is SOC, and its estimation methods. State of charge, SOC, represents the amount of charge left in the battery. SOC is not a physical quantity, and it cannot be measured directly. SOC can be estimated by measuring strongly correlated proxy quantities such as voltage, current, and temperature. SOC is defined as, the ratio of the available amount of charge to the maximum amount of charge of the battery. SOC estimation methods can be divided into five groups namely, lookup table method, coulomb counting method, model-based estimation method, data-driven estimation method, and hybrid method. Lookup table method includes the direct mapping of relationship between SOC, and the external characteristics parameters such as the open circuit voltage, OCV, impedance etc. OCV lookup table method is simple in concept, and is very accurate. In this method, at first, battery is completely charged to reach depolarization phase. After, battery is fully discharged using current pulses. Then, the battery is kept in rest for a fixed duration, and OCV of battery is measured. The relation between the OCV, and the soak is mapped. Once the lookup table is established, by measuring the instantaneous OCV of the battery soak level can be estimated. Major drawback of this method of SOC estimation is that this is only applicable when battery is in the static state. Coulomb counting method is the most commonly used method for SOC estimation. In this method, the SOC is estimated by measuring the discharging current of a battery, and integrating that current over time. Using Coulomb counting method SOC is estimated by using this formula. The advantage of this method is its simplicity, and stability. As this method is an open-loop algorithm, errors in the SOC estimation can be inevitable. A small error in measurement can be significant due to the cumulative effect of the integration operation. Due to this shortcomings, this method is commonly used in combination with other methods such as model-based, or data-driven methods to enhance the reliability. Model-based SOC estimation methods involve modeling of the electrical, chemical or a combination of both properties pertaining to a specific battery. Battery can be modeled three ways they are, electrochemical model, EM, equivalent circuit model, ECM, and electrochemical impedance model, EIM. EM model relies on partial differential equations, PDE, to describe battery dynamics such as lithium diffusion, and potential gradients. EM method can be very accurate but PDE computations can be expensive for real-time SOC estimation. ECM model-based SOC estimation requires the derivation of the circuit models which consists various circuit elements arranged in series, or parallel combinations such that it replicates the dynamics of the battery. The various ECM models are RENT model, RC model, and the Chevanon model. EIM includes more parameters on top of resistance, capacitance, and voltage sources and porous electro theory by adding Warburg element, constant phase element, and Z arc element into the model. The advantage of model based estimation is the precise SOC estimation provided that the battery is modeled accurately. Major disadvantage of model based SOC estimation is modeling complexity. The data driven SOC estimation techniques can estimate SOC accurately by measuring battery parameters including current, voltage, and temperature, thus, battery model. Added filter used in model-based approaches can be avoided. The data-driven approaches often require the use of machine learning ML, platform in order to obtain relationship and rules from the data. Data-driven method is the most accurate method of SOC estimation but requires large amount of battery data. The most recent data-driven methods employed to estimate SOC are, neural network method, deep learning method, support vector machine, and fuzzy logic method. Hybrid method of SOC estimation is nothing but combining two or three algorithms. 
In most of the cases, optimization method is employed with model-based and data-driven methods. Hybrid methods are used to improve the accuracy and robustness of SOC estimation. Thank you, and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe Roughbook.